Welcome back to Better Living. I'm here now with Sean from Lords University. We're talking about college visit days. You have visit dates coming up. Gosh, are they this weekend or are they just any time this summer? Well, we have visits all summer long, but we have some special programming coming up on July 13th and 14th. All right, that's coming up soon. So let's talk about what's in perspective students and their families can find during these upcoming visit dates. Sure. So the ones on the 13th and 14th, they will be able to learn more about attending an institution, of, a private institution in higher ed. Um, it, it's a great opportunity for them. It will kind of empower them to let them know that they can afford to come to a private institution. It's a statewide initiative with other private schools. Um, so we're really excited about it. They'll have the opportunity to take a campus tour at Lourdes. They'll have an opportunity to hear from prospective students. They'll have an opportunity to just kind of ask questions and get a good feel for what higher education is like at a private institution. I think it's sometimes so overwhelming, you know, for people who haven't been, at, for, especially when it's a first time, when this is their oldest child mm -hmm. and, and they haven't been in this situation before. It can be so overwhelming, whether it's be whether it's from the financial end, whether it's from the um, admissions, you know, not knowing what paper they're going to fill out, not knowing what classes to take, not knowing from the student's perspective what they want to go into. And, yeah. and maybe you don't really have to know that necessarily when you're starting out, do you? No, you do not have to know. Um, I often ask students coming in, what do you want to be when you grow up? And most of them have no idea. Yeah. And that's okay. Um, and that's the neat thing about college. You get a chance to experience new things, try some new things, maybe take some classes that spark an interest. Um, and then from there, we can help you and get you to be successful and be where you want to be. I love it. I think that's such an exciting time, it too. It is. Very exciting. I, I, I often say I'm... I'm old and I don't really know what I want to do when I grow up. I want to come back. Can I come back and go to Lourdes and figure out what I want to do when I grow up? Yes, you can. <laughs> yes, you can. We have students, um, you know, coming right out of high school and students that are probably well into their 80s and 90s. It's it's A-OK. -okay. Well, good, because I'm not quite to my 80s yet, so there's still time for me. There's everything, everything yeah. in between. Transfer students, adult students, we've got it all. Good to know. Yeah. Let's talk about what the difference is between a public and a private college education. What are the difference in those experiences? Sure. So I'm going to relate this to Lourdes. Um, with us, probably the major difference would be sheer size. Mm. Um, we're, very, we're small, but we're mighty. Um, we're able to help out students and kind of give them that personal touch. Um, at Lourdes, they'll have the opportunity to, you know, talk with professors one-on-one, -on -one, um, have lunch with faculty and staff. The president walks down the hallways and knows students on a first-name yeah. basis. Um, so it's just, it's a real nice community, tight-knit family feeling. Um, so I would say that's probably one of the bigger differences. I think that's really good, especially from a parent's perspective. If I have a student that I'm sending to college yeah. for the first time, that would be very comforting to me as a parent to know that they're not just a number. Sure. Um, that there are that there's that personal experience with everyone from the president to that professor um, even to other students that mm -hmm. there's that close-knit uh, accountability yep yeah it's it's a wonderful thing um, you know I'm blessed because I work in the admissions office so I get a chance to interact yeah. with current students um, and it's just great to hear them talk about you know what they're doing in their classes how they all come together and have like a family meal once yeah. a week um, the opportunities that they have to serve um, in the community it's just it's a really nice fit for them that could be a really positive experience I think for uh, students I would think that could be what makes it a really good choice for students for sure what are some of the academic and student programs that are available at Lourdes sure we have over 30 majors at Lourdes um, so there's a wide variety for students to get a chance to sample a little bit of different curriculum we're a liberal arts institution so we're gonna teach them how to think critically maybe outside the box a little bit um, we have a College of Business, we have a College of Arts and Sciences, we have a College of Nursing, and we have a College of Education. Um, again, so it gives them a chance to, you know, get involved and try different things. Um, our College of Business, for example, they have a four plus one, so you can earn your bachelor's degree in four years, and then in one additional year you can get your MBA. Um, so that, that's a nice perk for a lot of students. Um, our College of Nursing um, has been awarded over $8 million in grants because of the, our quality of students, our excellent faculty and staff. So it gives them a chance to get some hands-on real-world experience. Um, our education majors leave the College of Ed very prepared. Um, they're ranked in the highest in Ohio continually for their preparedness after they graduate. And then our arts and science program um, offers so many different internships. Some mm. of them are paid. Some of them get students connected with fields of study that they're very interested in. It sounds like some outstanding programs. Those are, those are not only outstanding programs, but those are some majors that have uh, careers that are in high demand right now, too. Yep.
That is correct. Yeah. I'm thinking about teacher. I mean, there are so many different places that are looking for teachers, but uh, the business program where you can go directly into that master's program yeah. and have that ability to have that when you walk out the door, it's just, um, I get so I'm going back to college. So we've just decided what I'm doing now. I'm going back to college right now. It's good to know. And the good thing to do is there are scholarships available to new students. Yes, we have scholarships for new students. Um, you know, we have stums that range from $2,500 a year all the way up to $8,000 a mm -hmm. year. Um, and then we have, for our higher achieving students, we have a Dean's Award and then we have an Honors Award so they can stack that on to help make the cost of attendance more affordable. Um, we have scholarships for continuing students. Mm -hmm. um, so maybe you came to Lords, um, you've done a great job in the classroom and now you want to apply for some additional funds, you can do that. Or maybe you belong to an organization at Lords that will allow you to apply for some additional funds as well. So we do try to make it um, affordable. Um, we understand that you know people have questions about cost and it's, it's a good question, um, but I feel like we have some very competitive aid packages with our scholarships and grants and other ways to help fund their education. Absolutely. Well, is it here we set um, almost to July. This week is July. Yeah. Is it too late for me to get started this next school year? It is not too late. Um, you know, we're still reviewing files. We're still admitting students. We're still awarding scholarships. Um, right now, believe it or not, it's picking up for our transfer students. Mm -hmm. um, so that's kind of the summertime is the transfer season. But we also have students still coming directly out of high school. Um, you know, they're undecided. They're not really sure where they want to go. They come talk to us and they like what they hear. So it works well for everyone. I can see how if somebody came and talked to you guys, they would definitely like what they hear, both if they were a student or I can tell you with uh, as somebody who has kids that are ready to go to college, I would as a parent definitely like what I hear. What do they need to do if they're ready to go to Lourdes? Well, if they're ready to go to Lourdes, they can get in contact with our admissions office. Um, they can go to our website, lords.edu. They can apply. Um, and then they would just have to send us their transcripts and test scores and we can go from there to get them admitted. It's a pretty quick process. Um, you know, it helps when they stay in contact with us and communicate with us. Um, so I encourage students to answer their phone and, yes. set, up, and set up their voicemail. Uh, that would be a very good helpful. Yes. Well, if you are ready to take that next step in your higher education, get with Lords today. They've got fantastic programs and they can get you moving to a fantastic career. We'll be right back.